I'm Bruce Dunn. I'm a professor of material science at UCLA. The work that we do is related to new materials. Batteries, fuel cells, capacitors. We design them to have properties that no one has ever achieved before. Here's an example of one of our three-dimensional batteries. And this battery is able to put out almost as much power as a AA cell. We take traditional battery geometries, which are usually two-dimensional, and we redesign them into three dimensions. If you want to be able to store more energy in a smaller volume, how do you do that? As the battery has gotten smaller, the cell phone has gotten smaller, the laptop has gotten thinner, the power source, that's what determines the size. And to a large degree, that also is going to determine what happens with alternate energy. We have an opportunity over the next several years to make an impact on the way that we consume and use fossil fuels. We help the economy, we help world politics, and we improve the environment. It's a trifecta. It's three things that you can improve at the same time. Welcome to our humble lab. <laughs> the idea here is to use sugar as the fuel, and then using nature's own machinery, using enzymes, he's able to get power out of this. Normal UCLA sugar, very cheap. You can get it for free. And we're going to put it in the side that has an enzyme called glucose oxidase. The voltage begins to spike, and it will continue to go higher and higher. That's what we call it a biological fuel cell. The fuel isn't hydrogen. The fuel is sugar. And you can run possibly a cell phone, because you imagine just putting sugar into a cell phone when you need to recharge it. A uh, fuel source for a pacemaker that could run just solely on the sugar levels of your blood. What's important, of course, is that the university is so good at producing students. And these are the people that are going to go off and start the energy companies. These are the people that are going to go off and make these wonderful contributions. I'm very optimistic about the future. I know that these types of solutions that are sustainable, low carbon footprint, are all within our grasp, and I look forward to being a part of that future.